John Kamina, thanks so much for joining the Carpool Series with Soho. Great to be here. Thanks, Trent. Uh, I heard you killer on karaoke as well. How do you oh, go? absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, you know, when you've got a voice like this and a face for radio, you know. <laughs> Uh, outside of karaoke, uh, you are also the CEO of uh, Bridge to Bricks Spies Agency. So, right. yeah, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit more. I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah, oh, look, I'm a chartered accountant and uh, I had a change of career about two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so I run Bridge to Bricks, which is a Sydney-based property buyers agency. Yep. Kind of cover all of Sydney. Uh, and uh, people engage me to help them find, uh, assess and negotiate properties for them. So, you know... I've, about two thirds of what I buy is off the market. Yep. And we assess them and negotiate them so that you, you don't buy a money pit and you're not overpaying. Yeah. Um, and we sort of, we, we buy all across Sydney, north, south, east and west, but I guess most of the my deals, not by design, are probably in the lower north shore. Yeah. New yeah. versus old. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit of a, sometimes a bit of a heated debate, yeah, I, I yeah. kind of feel. What what are the advantages of, of new versus old or what do you like to invest in anyway? Yeah. Uh, look, I, I bought both, but I, I I target old, and so if you're an investor, it's got to be old. A uh, couple of reasons. Uh, the first reason is that you can engine or manufacture your own um, upside, so you can renovate it, you can make it look new, you can make it look a million bucks. Yep. But the main reason is back to this idea that um, a kind of land has value. So you, you want to, when you're buying, when you're buying real estate, two things are happening. The, firstly, the land is appreciating, and the building is depreciating. Yep. So you want to buy something where the Building is is already depreciated. Really, okay. so you want to you want to limit that uh, that downward pressure on the price. So all you've got is the land appre appreciating and uh, a rental stream. Gotcha. So that, that's kind of what. So if you can eliminate the downside to um, that depreciation, that's how you win. Um, a lot of people who bought off the plan never had capital growth in sort of, sort of five to ten years, but that's why mm. there was all this downward pressure on the price. Gotcha. Yeah. You're a macro investor. <laughs> what is that? It's a bit of a, um, I don't know, oh. interesting kind of title, yeah. uh, but what, is, what does that actually mean? Is what, what's the philosophy, I guess, around yeah. it? Well, I don't call myself a macro investor, but, I, yep. but it's true that I'm a, like a top-down guy, so okay. kind of looking at the big themes. Um, so, uh, for, for a top-down investor, I'm looking at kind of three things uh, to, to get my head around. One is, um, you've got to understand why real estate works, why, why people get wealthy out of real estate, and what types of properties they own. So first, first thing is the why. And the why is sort of that, uh, uh, that there's a lot of reasons why um, central banks and, 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 and that sort of thing, that, that they ensure that, that property prices go up. I mean, all the, all the, we're awash with debt in the world, you know, there's debt everywhere and the asset that's holding all the debt together is generally real estate. So yeah. if we let the real estate go down in value, the debt goes down in value and the banks aren't worth anything. So yeah. that's why they always want real estate to go up. Gotcha. So the second thing is, you know, when is the right time to buy? That's the other part of being a top down guy. And um, I think one of the mistakes people make is that because real estate's always expensive, they're always saying, oh, you know, there's going to be a crash around the corner. Now's not the right time. But real estate's always, always expensive. And so yeah. I, I've got a couple of different ways of looking at whether or not property's expensive. One of them is pricing real estate in gold, which is a little bit unique, but, but the way I look at it is real estate's not that expensive at the moment compared to say the, the, the early noughties. Okay. And the second thing is, you know, where to buy. So that's the other top down approach, where to buy. You're kind of looking at demographics and you're also looking at infrastructure and those sorts of things. Mm. I mean, I'm the most boring investor out there. I, I want to, I want to invest in tried and true places. Um, but I'm aware of where the, the new investments are going and, um, yeah, yeah that's sort of those three things make me a top down investor, I guess. Gotcha.